does ideal man or woman really exist? I don't know, but one thing is for sure, in chemistry, we have ideal gas law. We are now aware that the combination of Boyle's law, Charles' law, and Gay-Lussac's law is the combined gas law. If we rearrange this law to emphasize the effect of temperature and pressure on the volume of a gas, we will come up with the following expression. Uh, volume is directly proportional to temperature and inversely proportional to pressure, and that is combined gas law. On the other hand, the relationship between volume and number of moles is described by Avogadro's law, wherein volume is directly proportional to number of moles. Combining these two laws, will come up with the expression that includes all the variables that affect the volume of a gas. And that is, volume is directly proportional to number of moles and temperature, and inversely proportional to pressure. This expression is changed to an equation by introducing a proportionality constant, R, known as the gas constant. Therefore, our equation will become V equals to R times N times T over P, or volume is equals to gas constant times the number of moles times temperature divided by pressure. And this is also uh, the more common form of the equation, PB equals to NRT. All right, the value of a gas constant or the gas constant R depends upon the units used. They are R equals to 0 0.082 L ATM per K mole or liter atmosphere Kelvin mole. And then the other one is R is equals to 62.4 L tor over K mole, a liter tor over Kelvin mole. All right, so let us have application of the ideal gas law formula. So our sample problem is calculate the volume of methane that has a chemical formula of CH4 at 27 degrees Celsius and 760 tor with a number of mole of 0 0.05. Now for the given, we have the following. N is equal to 0 0.05 mole. Uh, temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, but it is in Celsius, so we need to convert that to Kelvin, and it's so easy. All you have to do is just add 273, and you will get 300 Kelvin. And the pressure is 760 torr. Then, for the gas constant, we'll be using uh, 62.4 liter torr per k mole because the unit of pressure is expressed in torr. That's why we will be using this value of uh, gas constant. All right, so for the solution, we'll be using the equation of, or the formula of ideal gas law, which is PV equals to nRT. So since the unknown is V, so we're going to encircle V, and then whichever is the partner variable of the unknown, and that is P, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by that variable, which is P, right p here can cancel out this cancel out so our formula for volume will be v equals to n r t all over p so we have now the formula of volume which is v equals to n r t over p all right so this time we're going to plug in the given from the derived formula of volume, which is V equals to nRT over P. So N is equal to 0 0.05 mole. R is equal to 62.4 liter tor over K mole. And then temperature is equals to 300 Kelvin. And then pressure is equals to 760 tor. Now we can cancel mole and mole. And then also we can cancel Kelvin and Kelvin here. And then we can cancel tor and tor. So the remaining unit is liter, which is a unit of volume. So the next thing that you're going to do is multiply 0 0.05 to 62.4 liter 
and uh, 300 and then divided by 764 you will get 1.23 liters so that will be our answer volume is equal to 1.23 liters